Nolan Sands Design and Victory Racing take on the challenge of building a 100% hand-built road racing bike with a prototype Victory motor. Pikes Peak, Race to the Clouds, America's most challenging road race. 156 corners and 4,700 climbing feet to the top of a 14,000 foot mountain. Well, the thing about Pikes Peak is it's not a closed circuit course. For certain, you're seeing things like, oh my gosh, you know, that's uh, quite a drop over that edge. Or, you know, if I go off here, we're looking at, you know, 20 feet down into a bunch of pine tree. This project is very unique. It's a monumental task from different fronts. Right now, it's just been calculations between uh, Roland Sands Design and the Victory uh, team. I'm the guy that's gonna throw a leg over here in a few weeks at a test track and see how the balance feels, see if cornering clearance is a question we don't need. We're creating a race motorcycle here to go up Pikes Peak as quickly as humanly possible. You know, we've got Don Kine, we've got Cycle World, we've got Victory Motorcycles, RSD, um, we've got our team. It's really an American effort, which is it's pretty fun. Motec gave us a, a great gauge setup. We've got uh, Carrillo rods and fighter grips. Dunlop gave us a group of tires to test, so we've got tires to test. The Olin suspension is on the bike. It's where it needs to be. It, there's, a, there's a lot of people involved in this project. We want to do them proud. I look at race bikes and I always fall in love with them. So this one even more so because it doesn't have bodywork and the engine's out there in the open and it really is a raw, a raw exposed racing motorcycle, road race motorcycle, and you don't see that a lot. For me, I'm returning to the mountain. Last year was my rookie year, and it's like it's like Bonneville. It's you know you get the salt in your in your blood. Well, same thing with Pikes Peak. It gets under your skin, and I feel like now I've had a taste of it. And, and there's unfinished business.